Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So real quick, I just want to do kind of a build video on this sub 20 gram um, HD zero build. So just to put the proof, so you guys what's going on, zero it out here. Let's shove this sucker on there. We gotta balance it and we are at 19.8 grams. So pretty awesome. I am very pleased with that. Very hard to get these guys slimmed down. There's a lot of trimming you have to do and take some shortcuts. Um, but I think it's kind of worth it. Uh, that's completely up to you. Um, you could always go with your regular analog light build. This guy's about 17 grams because he doesn't have the big HT0 VTX on it. But not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and go from the top down what we got going on here. So here, first off, we have the HT0 Nano Light camera mount from uh, Mr. Shutterbug. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can get to it. So what I did, uh, didn't make the density that much, maybe 20%. And you can see it's kind of, I kind of want to reprint this anyway, just because I don't like the spotting. It might've just been a bad day for my TPU. But normally it has two arms that extend out here and you screw those down. So that's where I took a shortcut, taking some weight off. I snipped these off with some scissors and I just screwed the front and the back screw on. And honestly, this holds up real well. It's been pretty durable. Out of all the flying I've done, I've only had it come out once, but most of the time it squeezes in there pretty good and it doesn't really come out and you whack this up and it pretty, it goes pretty much right back to the middle. So not that big of a deal. Um, there's plenty of space between the camera and the the VTX right there. So I honestly, I'm not worried about it ever touching. I've crashed this thing so many times going real fast and I've never had an issue with anything shorting out. Um, maybe cables are the thing that I go through the most. I've gone through two of them so far. They kind of don't like the beating, but I mean, what can you do? I guess until we get the, uh, the Echo camera, that bundle that you guys, if you haven't seen, check out Mr. Skittle's video about it. Um, but yeah, HG0 is kind of going away with the maybe cable according to that, that Eco bundle. So That'll be fun to get my hands on eventually. And then we'll do a video on that once we get that. But next up, um, other things to cut down on weight. I took out these side F uh, flight controller screws. These little guys right here that you just bolt down um, the flight controller. I got rid of those to get rid of, rid of some weight because also part of the build, because the flight controller is pinned up real well, nice and snugly between the the mounts right here and the battery pad so it's pinched in there real well and it's not moving it's not going anywhere so i really didn't feel that i could sacrifice keeping those guys out and it, it flies wonderfully i had it tuned a little bit but my tune pretty well i'm very happy with how the sucker flies um so that's that next is let's go with the trimming so i trimmed up a little bit um of these guys i don't have let's see Comparison. Here's a full frame. So this is the Meteor 65 airframe and the regular Meteor 65, but the arms are same. So as you can see, snipped one here, snipped one here. Um, but those are pretty much the same snip, the only snippings I've done. If I want to lose a little bit more weight, I mean, I guess I could snip these outer ones. It just depends. It's completely up to you what you trim. Um, but for me, this is kind of what I felt is the most durable because what gets the most impact is the front here and then a little bit here. Those are going to be your hardest hitting parts of your whip frame. So I snapped, I kept those in there. Um, but if you want to trim down more or if you want to, uh, I'm arrow front guy, by the way, but if you want to trim this arrow down, you can. I have gone away with these major side braces. Um, I snipped them all down. I don't have a clean frame with me right now. I don't think, but normally you'll have extra support here for these guys, but I got rid of them just to make it a little bit more flexible. But honestly, it also makes it a little bit more durable because it's not as rigid. So it gives a little more. Um, and I got rid of the back brace as well. So that's pretty much all the trimming I've done on the frame. I've melted a little bit here on the side, mostly particularly um, back here. For these guys I needed a little bit of trimming down just to just to shave some weight but also give some room for the vtx right there but again that's completely up to you and i also went with the ready screws these plastic screws instead of your little aluminum ones i got rid of those i got these you can get these on get fpv or uh race day quads not really sure which one i don't remember but i think you can find them on there i just got these from a website kind of like granger just your hardware supplier 
um, but running screws. Um, if I can find them, I'll put a link in the de description below. But these came in like a pack of 100. So I still have, golly, uh, plenty to go. I give some, I've given some to some people from Knoxville from around here. Just to help them out, get them a little bit lighter build. But it comes in a pack of 100. And uh, also, when you're screwing these guys in, be very careful um, when you're building. Because you don't want to over torque the thing. Because it will snap. Um, the head off of these guys will snap. Not the biggest issue to get it out, but it will snap. So normally I just kind of... Do a little snug, just nice and snug, and then give it a little quarter turn just to give it a little more oomph, but that's that. Next thing I did, let's talk about these cables, um, the battery cables, the battery leads. I got rid of the thicker um, purple and white that comes stock with the BT 2.0 connector. I just got rid of those. These felt uh, a little bit heavier. They are heavier a little bit and uh, just thicker, um, but I got rid of them and... Uh, Put these guys on and said mostly you can get them from a vtx harness if you have these guys sitting around from your tbs vtx's or anything like that i just grabbed these guys um you could probably find something a little lighter but uh not really sure but that's uh, another step um obviously if i wanted to get rid of this heat shrink i could not that big of a deal um and then as far as the building goes the only biggest struggle is fitting the flight controller inside here. So if we get nice and close, you can see it's just sitting up right there. So in order to kind of wiggle this flight controller in as well, I had to snip the front and the back uh, rings on the flight controller, as you can see. Not that big of an issue. I got a little bit close to the caps or these resistors. I think they're caps. But um, there's a little bit of ground wire coming out, but it hasn't been an issue at all. I just snipped them with wire snips and got rid of that that way. Um, that was the only way I could comfortably get this flight controller seated, seated down between uh, this mounting stands and then the battery tray just to give that a nice squeeze. And I had to bend it a little bit to force that back in there. Um, but that's pretty much how that went. And it's not that bad. Um, like I said, I haven't had any issues with the flight controller. The gyro seems to be pretty well separated there and I haven't had any issues with flying. The flying's, flying's been absolutely great. It being a 19.8 gram, I mean, the battery's life still isn't as good as these guys here, as the lighter uh, analog builds, but I mean, it does what it does, and it flies very, very well. And of course, AC0 uh, video is so much better than analog. I absolutely love it, and I hate <laughs> sometimes having to go back to these sometimes. As well, as good as these fly, um, it's just so much more pleasing to, to fly a whoop with uh, HC0. It just looks so much better. Um, I do have the modded antenna. If you look at Charles and uh, Heads Up FEV, their little video, um, but just a modified uh, monopole. So you have those VTX antennas that come with your, your TBS. This one came with my TBS Nano. I had to buy a new one because the Snort Audio wasn't working on my little VTX here, my analog VTX. But that is just a modified uh antenna beforehand i did have the uh the ort antenna i absolutely love this antenna this is such a great antenna i bought this off amazon but a phenomenal antenna but i just want to try something a little bit lighter just to trim up a little bit and i have that guy sitting right there um but the ort antenna is great but if you feel like measuring and snipping you are more than welcome to try uh this little hack um but i think that's it let me think if there's anything else here um, this is the Express ELRS Beta FPV uh, 1S F4 all-in-one, um, but that's what I'm using right now. Um, if you want to shave off some more weight, you could get rid of the USB port. I, for one, don't really care. I don't know much if it's stickler, but if I wanted to update, can, can you update something or play with anything, but that's how that goes. Um, for me, I think I will put the running screws, these additional extra ones back in just because I want that motor security um, and that's pretty much it maybe put the VTX those screws back in I don't really think I need them but if you want to make it a little bit more secured have things not flopping around so much that's completely up to you these are the new HQ props um, the 31 millimeter these are absolutely ultralights um, instead of the fatter HQ or the gym fan props these are just lighter white, and they absolutely fly amazing. I do have the unreleased red props. Thank you, Jesse Perkins, for sending these out. Um, but I had bought a pack of pink props, which I don't know where those went. My desk is such a mess. I lose everything so much. But 
they he gave me a set of these unreleased red. They absolutely look really good with these tiny whip motors. Um, but and the red mount, but no red frame. Maybe that'll be coming in the future. But yeah, this is pretty much the build. I absolutely love it. It flies real well. I'll put some footage up um in a bit but absolutely love these this thing this thing flies so well mippy cable has been the only issue for me um i think these came off my old analog uh five inch race builds um those mippy cables so i think they were already damaged when i had gotten them but this is a brand new mippy cable and i haven't had any issues um because of the previous race anytime i would have a pretty decent hard crash the the vtx would just say nope i'm done and then it would you would have to uh, power cycle the whole thing for the video to come back um but anyone who's flying she's or knows that can happen from time to time if you have a hard enough crash but that haven't really been an issue for five inches for me um but with these old maybe cables it's it's been the issue but that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching um put some flight footage up if you have any questions let me know um but i absolutely f love flying this thing this is probably my favorite quad to fly one, it's lightweight, durable, but it's tiny whip. I can fly it inside. It's been raining a lot up here in Tennessee for the past few days, and it's the rainy season, um, and I can't really get out too much. But this guy is an absolute ripper. I do have the tiny whip. What are these? The 702, 0702, 32,000 kV. Um, these guys absolutely rip, but they suck the battery pretty good. Um, but maybe I'll go back to... Uh, um, I don't know, maybe the 27,000s. I do like these motors as well. Um, I have the other 27, but 27,000 is a pretty good sweet spot. I just wanted to have a little bit more KV to see what would happen. Um, and this thing rips pretty well, pretty, pretty nimble. And there's still a little bit of a lag. It still is not as nimble as your analog because you have an additional, what, three grams. Um, so that makes it a little bit different there, but it's absolutely fun for races. If you're not in the competitive scene, like at Whooptopia or anything, this should be um, your your racer. If you're just having fun racing, local races, and you don't really care too much about winning, um, I, not that I say you couldn't win with this. I would love to see T Dog or AK or someone rip this um, guy as fast as it'll go and see how they perform. But yeah, um, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. There are some fun things coming from AT0, but stay on the lookout. Talk to you later. Bye. Boom, 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 boom,